Hey guys, Christian here with Heart and Hustle. If you guys have been staying posted, you guys already know that I've been working on the Mustang and now I'm tightening up all these little loose ends. And so right now, today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to paint your jams. We've already painted the door jams, the jams on the truck, but now we got this jam here in the hood where we didn't get a chance to paint it. We oversprayed it with the gray, not a big deal. We can come back and take care of that but I wanted to show you guys the process that we're gonna do to kind of paint in the jams. So I wanted to show you guys that, where the jams are, and then that's actually gonna be the color, which is that really nice Eleanor Gray from Gone at 60 Seconds. And so that's what it looks like right now. And I'll show you guys here on this side, we've already gone ahead and sanded this side. So we've sanded it down and I know that that area as well is gonna be painted the same color as the exterior, but I do want the engine bay to be a semi-gloss black. I'm even thinking now that I see it, I may go into a high gloss black just to really like, whoa, when you pop the hood open. But for now, we're gonna focus on the jams. Again, I wanted to show you guys right now, they're all primered out. I forgot to, sh I forgot to, well, I didn't forget, it's just part of the process. I've already, let me open the door here for you guys. I've already painted the door jams on the inside. Obviously you can see the Ford, original Ford. Got a little more detail work in there. But these are already painted. You can see the reflection nice and clean. Again, you can see that these have already been painted. Got a little patchwork there. We're gonna fix that one as well. But that's gonna be the color. And uh, I mean, so far it looks really good. I'm not mad at it. And so I'm, I wanna show you guys, you see we've already painted the rear jams, the trunk. And so now I've been taking the tape off and that's what the trunk looks like. And the rear jams have already been painted. And same thing on the passenger side door. We've already painted the jams in here. But we are going to patch up because we, you know, again, we had a little bit of overspray. Not a big deal. But again, this is one of the things that I, I point out with this. Now, let me take 10 steps back and talk to you guys about your hustle. You guys may be standing there feeling like, fuck, I don't have all the resources that I need to do what I need to do. And when it comes to those moments, it's not about having the resources to do what you have to do. It's about being resourceful. Let me clarify, this project has been going on since 2011. It's a little at a time. Whenever I get a chance, whenever there's some opportunity to push forward on it, we push forward on it. We've had some great help. My dad, I really appreciate him. Let me give him a shout out. Carlos Brakes and Alignment. If you guys are ever in the city of Southgate, this guy is like the car whisperer. He can just listen to your car and he'll let you know three or four things that you need to get in tune with it. Him, I want to say shout out to Customs by Lopez and several many other people and I'll tag them in the links below. But really, they were the ones that have helped me out. Tons, little by little, transmission, engine, interior, engine bay, trunk, floor panels, headrests, upholstery, headliner, dash, stereo, wheels, paint, body. It's been a lot of work. But again, you do little by little and you keep chipping forward. But ultimately, you have to be, you don't have resources, but you have to be resourceful. And then this is what gets you to the next level where now all of a sudden you have some resources, but now you turn around and give back some of those resources to someone that you can provide an opportunity to. And you keep looking forward. So it's a lot of, you're, it's a very dynamic lifestyle and that's what I want you guys to get used to. It's the fact that you're gonna continue to kick ass, continue to move forward. And ultimately again, this whole video is just based off the jams. To me it's very important that when someone pops the hood, and they look inside and they say, damn, whoever did this car has a lot of passion for what they're doing. And that's what I want them to say about you guys. So if you guys can dig this, take it out to the world, apply it, and don't even drop a comment. I want to just 
I see you guys out there in the world doing your thing. So let's keep kicking ass and I'll see you guys at the very, very top. If you dig this, huge favor, smash that like button. If you really dig it, smash that subscribe, hit the little bell so you'll be notified. And then also, if you know other people that are interested in this type of conversation, this type of hustle, chasing your dreams, crafting your life, doing what the fuck you got to do, do me a favor, share it with them. Send them as a text, send it as an email, send it as an attachment. I'd really appreciate it. We're out here kicking ass and uh, a day to time and we'll continue to kick ass and I'll see you guys at the very, very top. All right. I'll see you guys later. Peace.